everyone, and thanks so much for joining this session on three workflows that make managing requests as easy as asking for help. I'm Marie Casabon, and I'm an enterprise advocate at HELP, which is an Atlassian company. I want to share just a little bit of background on HELP before we get started. HELP is a lightweight help desk that allows for easy ticket creation and management from within Slack and Microsoft Teams. HELP's bot assist is what users interact with in Slack and Teams, bringing ticketing into your workspaces and conversations. Assist connects to the help backend, as well as other ticketing platforms that we integrate with, like Jira and Zendesk. All integrations across systems are bidirectional, meaning things sync back and forth. Our agenda for today is for me to show you how users can take quick actions, like adding an emoji or clicking a button to raise a ticket in chat. How we can automate ticket creation using forms for your request types in both Slack and Teams. And to cover the advanced routing that you can set up to automate your ticket management workflow within help. Before we jump into the demos, let me set you up a bit. I'll be showing you the three workflows, quick actions to start a ticket, automating forms, and advanced ticket routing in both Slack and Teams. You'll see two users in either the same Slack workspace or Teams tenant to showcase the requester experience as well as the agent experience. The requester or the user asking for help is always gonna be on the left-hand side, and the agent or the user that's managing tickets and requests as they come in is always gonna be on the right. And my demo workspace is Ted Lasso themed, so get excited. Help allows both requesters and end users to create tickets with one to two clicks. Let's see what that can look like in Slack. Once you've done some initial setup with Help, you can turn any new or existing Slack channel into a request channel, meaning tickets created in this channel, in this case, Ask Sales, will be sent to the sales team's ticket queue. Here we're in the AFC Richmond soccer team's Slack workspace. Rebecca is working with a new prospective sponsor for the team. And bringing in a new sponsor, she needs to get a new vendor approval request submitted. She has a few options for how to open this ticket with the AFC Richmond sales team. In the channel, she can add an emoji to her comment, or she can use the slash commands. Once created, the ticket thread is posted publicly here in the Slack channel. Rebecca can ask follow-up questions or give additional information. Where the ticket lands for the sales team is in their private triage channel called Sales Team Agents, where the team can work on the ticket. Keely, an agent on the sales team, sees the request come in and jumps into action. First, she assigns the ticket to herself. She edits the ticket, adding in request type for new vendor request. She can ask follow-up questions on the ticket thread, like who is this vendor, Rebecca? Rebecca replies, it's the BBC. Keely edits the ticket title to be BBC New Vendor Request. Then Keely sends through a help answer or a canned response to help resolve the issue. And finally, she updates the status of the ticket and closes the ticket out all from Slack. Jumping into Teams, we'll walk through a really similar workflow. This time, we'll need to click the Assist icon to create our ticket with the sales team. In Teams, you can turn any new or existing team into a request team, same as in Slack. All tickets created via this request team will be sent to the corresponding team's ticket queue. A requester can either post publicly about their issue and then retroactively turn their comment into a ticket, or they can click Assist icon in their bottom navigation bar, select the request type, and submit the ticket. Same as in Slack, the tickets will be directed to the sales team's ticket triage, where agents can work on the ticket, reply back to the end customer, assign the ticket to themselves, and close it out. In both Slack and Teams, you can enable your employees to create tickets and get the support they need in just a few clicks or emojis. Many teams already know the main types or categories of tickets and requests that they most often receive. For a sales team, it may be quote approvals, trial extensions, contract renewals, and Salesforce updates. For an HR team, it may be benefits requests, time off requests, employee onboarding and offboarding requests. When you already know the types of requests or tickets that your team will be managing, you can add structure to the ticket submission process and help by having the requester complete a form upon creating a ticket. We're moving to a new team now, our HR team. They have a common set of requests that they manage at AFC Richmond. Time off requests, benefits change requests, new player onboarding requests, and booking one-on-one -on -one sessions with the team therapist, Dr. Sharon. Today, Ted is in pretty dire need of a one-on-one -on -one with Dr. Sharon, so he's gonna submit a request to get an appointment scheduled. 
Ted can't remember how to submit a request, so he goes to the Ask HR channel in Slack and posts publicly saying that he needs someone from the team to help him with something. After posting, he remembers to add the ticket emoji to his comment and then sees a whisper from assist in Slack, prompting him to select his request type and fill out a form. Ted selects Dr. Sharon appointment as his request type and fills in the required fields and hits submit. He's worried because he doesn't want everyone to see that he just booked a session with the doc. But luckily the HR team has turned on private replies. So his side of the ticket thread isn't visible in the Ask HR channel. Instead, he gets a private DM from the Assist app showing him his side of the ticket. The HR team is quick to respond, book his session, and send through a confirmation and calendar invite. Over in Microsoft Teams, we can run through the same interaction. Ted heads to the Ask HR team, but instead of posting anything publicly, he's gonna go ahead and click the Assist logo at the bottom of the chat box. From the available HR forms or request types, he selects Dr. Sharon appointment. He completes the form for the HR team. Once complete, he gets a notification from Assist to let him know that the ticket has been submitted. In Teams, no matter how you create a ticket, using the Assist bot or posting a comment and selecting the message action and clicking Create a Ticket with Assist, your ticket threads will always be private between the requester and the team managing those requests. Across both Slack and Teams, you can require that folks submit a custom form for each of your request types. This allows your team to take quicker action on requests as they come in and prioritize your work. Forms push a bit of work onto your requester, but a few extra seconds of time taken when submitting a request allows for quicker resolution. Help allows you to use recipes, or if this, then that triggers, to automate different steps in your workflow. This can look like automatically assigning tickets to an agent based on the form used, the channel that the ticket comes from, or a field that the requester has filled out on a particular form. Or it can be automatically setting the status of a ticket based on who requested it, like one of your primary customers or your CEO. Recipes can reduce the number of clicks and manual steps taken in your ticket management workflow alert folks of certain requests as they come in, and help your team prioritize tickets for key customers or stakeholders. Back to AFC Richmond Slack workspace, where assistant to billionaire Edwin Akufo has requested a VIP meeting with Sam, a player from the team. His request came in via a shared Slack channel that the AFC Richmond partnerships team set up with Edwin's organization to better manage questions and requests for his upcoming visit. Because Rebecca is the point person for VIP clients like Edwin, she built out two recipes in help, one to automatically assign any tickets from the shared Slack channel to her, and another to automatically set the status of any ticket coming from this channel to urgent. Rebecca instantly sees the requests come in via a DM from the Assist app telling her she's been assigned to the ticket. She jumps to the VIP triage channel, quickly replies to Sam's availability and recommendations for the visit. The assistant is pleased with the support and Rebecca is able to close the request out. In Teams, AFC Richmond has set up a different set of recipes. Their fans can email fans at afcrichmond.com to invite the team and coaches to local events. Today, May, the bartender at the team's favorite pub emailed to invite Ted and the gang to come celebrate their win at her pub. Keely, being the team's PR and marketing manager, has set up two recipes in help. One, to automatically assign any tickets received via the email address fans at AFC Richmond to her. And another to send an auto reply that's cheerful and friendly, letting them know that she's hard at work on their request. When the tickets come in via email, Keely sees them in the marketing team's triage team and quickly lets May know that the team would be happy to head to the pub after their win later that evening. Recipes allow for advanced ticket routing to automate your workflow and speed up the time to first response and resolution. Thanks for joining today's session on three workflows that make managing requests as easy as asking for help. To learn more about using help for your team, you can go to atlassian.com slash software slash help to sign up for a free trial, join our next webinar, 
or schedule a one-on-one demo with me or another member of our sales team. Thanks.